Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Parseval's theorem of Z transform. The Parseval's theorem of Z transform states that if x1 and z transform is x1 z and x2 and z transform is x to z then summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x1 n dot x2 star n is equal to 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v x2 star 1 by v v inverse dv so this is the Parseval's theorem so as we have already discussed and proved the complex convolution theorem or multiplication property of z transform it will be very easy for us to prove the Parseval's theorem so let us see how to prove this particular theorem we know x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n z to the power minus n according to inverse z transform we know x of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x of z z to the power n minus 1 dz So, x1 n will be 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 z z to the power n minus 1 dz. Now, changing the variable z to v, the new variable is v. So, replacing z with v, this equation can be written as x1 n is equal to 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v v to the power n minus 1 dv now the LHS of the Parseval's theorem is summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x1 n x2 star n putting the value of x1 n in this particular term and we get summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v v to the power n minus 1 dv then x2 star n this is the result after putting the value of x1 n here now interchanging the position of summation and integration and taking the constant out of the summation and integration we got 1 by 2 pi j integration counter integral x1 v summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x2 star n v to the power n minus 1 dv which can be written as 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x2 star n v to the power n v to the power minus 1 dv now the next term is 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x2 star n 
x2 v inverse to the power minus n v inverse dv which is 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x2 star n 1 by v to the power minus n v inverse dv now according to the conjugate property we know if x of n z transform is x of z then x star n z transform is capital X star Z star this is the conjugate property of Z transform so so using this property in this particular equation summation we got 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite sorry directly we should write the result this will be 1 by 2 pi j counter integral x1 v x2 star x2 star 1 by v star v inverse dv which is the result for the Parseval's theorem the RHS of the Parseval's theorem so in this way we can prove the Parseval's theorem of Z transform by using the complex convolution property as well as the conjugate property this is conjugate property which we have already discussed in one of our video video lecture uh, we can prove the Parseval's theorem so in the next lecture we will discuss about the initial value theorem and final value theorem of the Z transform. Thank you.